Mark Adams. It is, isn't it? Um, Mick, Mick Murray, Minty, second row, first 15. Well, once, second 15. Minty, my God, my God. Yeah, how extraordinary. Are you still uh, playing the old trumpet? Uh, no, no trumpet. Uh, long time ago, all that. Yeah. God, yeah, you're telling me. God, you look great. You haven't changed the middle of that hair. Escape the recession. Yeah, yeah. And you, you look... I mean, what is it? I mean, what are you? I mean, how, how are you? Yeah, I'm really OK. Um, pretty hellish couple of years, but... Uh, God, yeah, I mean, what caused it? Well, the credit crunch. Yeah, lost my job in the city, which is a bit tedious. Um, but now I've just started a new vocation as, uh, wait for it, an English teacher. <laughs> a teacher? In front of children? Yeah, it's quite a shock, isn't it? Absolutely grotesque. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's going really well. Anyway, I've got to run, but uh, listen, what a thing. Yeah, who'd have thought? I know, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's Mark, isn't it? Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Everybody likes a drink. Not Eddie. But on occasion, you can have too much of a good thing. If you are drunk, and you're in charge of a motor vehicle, stop! <laughs> Be safe and drive slowly. It can make all the difference. Go slow, go easy when you're drunk. As we prepare to face, again, the might of the Luftwaffe. I know it must be difficult for you, with so many more empty places in the mess this morning, but we will fight on to the glory of our fallen colleagues. Courage, gentlemen. Good flying. Good luck. You know powdered egg? Yes. <laughs> it's gay as. Isn't it? It's well ranked, blood. Why can't they let us have proper eggs, like from a chicken or a parrot or some shit like that? I know, it's like they're trying to poison us with powder. Why is it powdered, man? You don't get powdered milk. You kind of do, though. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean, though. Yeah, well, I've told the group captain I'm not eating powdered egg anymore because I'm like a vegan and everything, and he has to respect my human right to be a vegan. <laughs> yeah, but you still eat sausages and bacon, whatever. Yeah, I'm not a wanker about it. <laughs> I think I has an allergy to that bully beef they give us. Is it, though? For sure. I get, like, this really bad reaction and shit. <laughs> what, like with peanuts where your throat swells up and you get, like, a rash or eczema or dyslexia or whatever? <laughs> No, I get, like, this really rank taste in my mouth. No, that's bad, man. You should tell them that. You should tell them that, though. Then if they ever make you eat it again, that's actually abuse. Yeah, because you know Ginger. Ginger Rogers? No, Ginger who you know. The guy who's the brother of the guy we met at that thing that time when you was there and I was there as well. Are you him, the one that I know? That's him. Yeah, because he was an allergic. And I reckon the dinner ladies murdered him with powdered egg. Because he was, like, really badly lactose intolerant. And then he just died. Yeah? You don't think what killed him was being shot down over Holland? Might have been a bit of that as well. <laughs> sir! Sir! Don't come any closer. Please, sir. You're making a big mistake. I love her. She took everything from me. No, sir, you don't understand. We're carrying out essential engineering work on this line. No trains are running through this station. <laughs> we are, however, operating a replacement bus service. <laughs> What's the story? Tomatoes are fruit, not veg. Gotcha. Gary Lineker can't say hypothesis. Ah, knew it. Unhappy pigeons commit suicide. Good for them. I'm dressed inappropriately, sir. Well done. If you eat a polar bear's liver, you'll die. Uh-huh. Mickey Mouse is named after Mickey Rooney. Then who the hell's Wayne Rooney? I'll just go and check, sir. Come on, people. Dogs cause snoring in children. Fair enough. The best thing about Alden Towers is oblivion. What's the worst thing? Come on, think. The queuing? Tell him, Susan. It's the wasps. It's the wasps, Declan. The bloody wasps. <laughs> So was that the 128 megabyte memory card or the 256? 128. Good. Well, that's all very straightforward. Should have those ready for you in about an hour. Oh. I would normally say go and have a quick mosey around the shops, but uh, 
Wednesday's half-day closing round here. Um, hey, here's a thought. I'm just about to take the lunchtime service. You could uh, stay for that and then pick up your photographs afterwards if you like. Um, oh. <sighs> no, I'll just have a wander around looking at the shop windows. Yes, good, good idea. So you. See you in about an hour, then. <laughs> All the instructions are written on the docket. <laughs> Very good. Oh, I can't believe that we're here in this paradise. I've got you all to myself. Ooh, finally. Uh, finally. <laughs> Aloha. Hey, Jim. Hi, Jim. How's it going? Hey, yeah, great. Fantastic. I'm as happy as a dog with two dicks. <laughs> I sometimes think my wife running off with the DJ at our wedding reception was the best thing that ever happened to me. Sometimes I think that. Most of the time, I just sit on my haunches, rocking backwards and forwards, staring at the wall, singing three blind mice to myself. <laughs> And over again. Hey, still, no wife, no strife, eh? Yeah. <laughs> no offence, love. No <laughs> face, <Fice>, honestly. <laughs> so, uh, what have you been up to today, then, Jim? Oh, well, I had uh, quite a nice afternoon, actually. <laughs> I watched that uh, Ryan's Daughter on the film channel. Oh, that sounds like a good thing to do. Yeah, it was really funny, cos uh, when it got to that bit where she goes off with a soldier, I was thinking, don't kiss him, don't kiss him. And before I knew it, I'd wrenched the TV set off the wall and chucked it in the bath. <laughs> Sparks and everything, you know. So don't tell me what happened. Eh? <laughs> you had a nice day. Yeah, well, we've just been sitting here having cocktails, discussing our wedding reception. Can we uh, get you another drink, Jim? To be quite honest, Sally, one's enough for me. Any more than that, it plays havoc with me medication. Yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, it is me honeymoon, so uh, what the hell? Tell you what, I'll have the wife's as well. <laughs> Oi, Gunga Din! Yeah? <laughs> Two on a Lulu Amas over here, please. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep the furniture. There you go. <laughs> well, Jim, I have to say, I think you are incredibly brave. Well, you know what I always say: never look a gift horse in the mouth. Though you should always keep an eye on her Facebook friends, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the bitch. <laughs> but that's far from my mind when I'm in this paradise. Yes. Oh. You got to laugh, ain't you? Life's just nuts, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't but... interrupt me. You know. <laughs> I could say to myself, oh no, boo hoo hoo, you know, life's dealt me a duff hand, but I'm bigger than that. Yeah, well, it's good, it's good to move on. Yeah, Phil, easy for you to say, you shit house. <laughs> the enduring memory of your wedding day isn't the thrusting, pimply buttocks of Matt Dogdale being cupped by the French manicured fingers of your newlywed bride. <laughs> Talk about something borrowed. <laughs> Graham, I just wanted a quick word. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> I've just severed all my links with my friends and family and transferred the last of my assets over to his divine father of our better tomorrows, which is all great. I suppose I just wanted to double check. Um, this isn't a cult, is it? <laughs> Job, mate. You got the vibe just right. Oh, thanks. You're taking our energy, giving it back to us. Nicely done, my friend. Cheers. Fancy a pill? No, it's our gift in the way. Fix my judgment. Mind if I have yours?
Danny, it's Mr. Wilkinson from work. Oh, um, hello. Uh, are you here for Dean's birthday as well? No, no, I, I was just telling Michael. I, I, I was dropping my daughter off. Picking her up. Um, <laughs> sorry, can I have a sip of your water? That's me done for the night. Let's go dance. Come, Mr. Wilkinson. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm much too old for that. You, you young people, go and enjoy yourselves. Anyway, I've got to catch my train in uh, an hour. Oh, come on, just one. Mm. That's it, you're okay. You're all right. Okay. You'll be fine, Mr. Wilkinson. Train's not here for another four minutes. Time to walk it off. <laughs> My name is Dr. Tia. I live in Botswana, saving lives. Do you? <laughs> I've just performed an operation in the most dangerous location on God's good earth. The inside of a lion's mouth. I was removing an obstruction. Patunksway, my houseboy. My only tranquilizer was a Celtic lullaby. And the tools I used were these. These proud hands know no tenderness. Africa is my wife. And she'll brook me no mistress. Stakes from the rump and legs, and the offal in a bag. That's right, Reverend. We should have that done for you in about 45 minutes, uh, maybe an hour. I notice from our newsletter that the Women's Institute is exhibiting a display of crochet in the village hall. Oh, no, that's really not my cup of tea at all, Reverend. Hey, here's a thought. I'm just about to take the lunchtime service. You could stay for that, and then all your meat would be ready for you straight afterwards. <laughs> Maybe I will just poke my head in the crochet exhibition. See what it's like. Yes. Good idea. There, Agnes. A, a stag to be butchered. asked us to do this gig in Beijing, and we're like, hell, why not? I mean, 1.3 billion people, it's not a bad potential market. You know, I'm, I'm really psyched about it. You know, it feels like we've actually broken internationally. Oh, wow, that's incredible. God, you know I should have stuck with the guitar. <laughs> Look, you, you, you must come to the gig, you know. I mean, what's your full name? I'll, I'll stick you on the guest list. Well, that would be incredible. Let um, me just uh, grab a pen. Yeah, it's, it's Paul, uh... Ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> OK, off you go. My name is Yusuf Khan. By the time you see this video, I will have become a martyr for all our people who have suffered pain and injustice at the hands of Western devils. My name is Ali Nazri. To our families, know that what we did 
we did in an effort to highlight the plight of our brothers and sisters around the world, suppressed by those forces which continue to wreak destruction against us. Um, oh, Christ, sorry, can I just check? Um, this isn't a terrorist sleeper cell, is it? <laughs> So that's a Zoan laptop with 256 megs of RAM and a 1.8 gig processor. Great! You do know if you spend £80 more, you get the model with a dual processor. Sorry, uh, I'm not really very clued up about these things. Man. Basically everything will just run much faster. When you switch it on, it won't take forever to boot up programs or load nearly twice as fast. Right, and that's £80, is it? Well, yeah, but if you ask me, it's definitely worth it. You don't want it running slow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, OK then. Yeah. yeah, and the other thing I'd definitely recommend is getting a faster wireless card. Right, I think as I sort of promised myself I'd stick to a budget and, you know, I'm getting the dual thing, so... Sure, yeah, but the thing is, in six months' time, this card might be the standard. You don't want to regret not getting it down the line. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you're right, yeah, I'll get, I'll get that too then. Yeah, stop me if I'm twisting your arm, but we are currently offering a discount on the lettuce upgrade. So... Have you not seen it? Take a look at this. There you are, sir. The lettuce upgrade. It was £40. I'm currently able to offer it to you for... £20. <laughs> Sorry, what does What does it do? Essentially, it enhances your laptop with a lettuce leaf. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I'm not really very clued up about these things. I mean, to me, that just looks like a lettuce leaf so taped to the screen. I mean, That's exactly what it is. <laughs> right. But like I said before, the thing is, in six months' time, the lettuce leaf may be the stand, and you don't regret not getting it down the line. Plus, it was 40, and now it's 20, so in a way, you've, you've kind of made money. <laughs> uh, I guess. Uh, Shall I whack it on, then? Actually, I think I'll be all right. Sure, no problem. If you just like to go to the cashier's desk, I'll have someone bring down your non-lettuce leaf upgraded up top. <laughs> Thanks. Just like to wait by the cashier's desk. <laughs> um, actually, I think I better get it. No problem. What's that? It's the carrot upgrade. So, is the carrot better than the lettuce leaf, or...? Well, it depends. I mean, I just thought in six months' time the carrot might be the standard. You know, I don't want to end up regretting not getting it down the line, you know? <laughs> don't get me wrong, I mean, the lettuce leaf's fine, but I really needed the carrot to suit my needs. <laughs> I mean, the lettuce leaf suits my needs fine, so. mm. Sure. How much is the carrot? Yo, my friend! Mikey in the upstairs bar said you might be able to sort me out with a couple of ease. How many are you looking for? Three blind mice. Five or eight, yeah? Cool, and uh, give me a couple of bumps of K. Take the edge off and come down. Mr. Wilkinson! Um, it's, it's Tony, I went to prep school, your daughter. Tony, yes, of course, how are you? Oh, Excellent. Mate. Look, seriously, these are on me, yeah? Honestly, you used to give me a lift home every night with prayer at the piano. Yes, 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 I remember. Um, uh, these aren't for me, by the way, they're for a, a colleague at work, you know, in the accounts department. Uh, he's got an anniversary coming up and he... He wanted to, you know... Ugh. This is a raid! Everybody remain calm and stay exactly where you are. Yeah, don't give them to me. None of you are in any trouble, but before we release you, we do need to take a few details, name, address, etc. You'll all be released within two hours. Excuse me, officer. Um, I know you've got a job to do, but uh, so do I, and I am in a little bit of a rush. It's the same for everybody, sir. Oh, my God, Mr Wilkinson. Um, <laughs> it's Sean Davies. I used to live a couple of doors down. Sean, I don't suppose you could... Um... Woo! <laughs> The thing is, we are preparing for an audit. You'll be released when we're ready, sir. Oh. <laughs> Can you get off me, please, Mr. Wilkinson? Your train's here. <laughs> train approaching platform two is the 744 to Maryland. Alarm you all! Let's have for commuting! <laughs> Okay, so listen up. 
This is a map of a hotel. The hostages are here in the hotel reception. We go in hard, flashbangs and stun grenades. ID your men and take them down quick. How many are there? Intel counts six terrorists, but there may be more. So stay sharp, stay focused, no mistakes. Our absolute priority is the lives of those hostages. All right, this is it. Go, 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 go! What? Now, did you forget all about our little staff outing? Sir, hostages! Andrew, I promised to take my hard-working team bowling this evening. But, sir, they're going to be executed in, in 22 minutes! Hear me, Andrew. How many times have I told you to stop using deadlines as a way of motivating your team? <laughs> now, you need to put your people glasses on. I need to get to the Glass Hotel now! Go on, go on. Let's get you fitted up with some shoes. Come on! <laughs> Yes, Joe. Quite a haul. Yes. Some exceptional pieces. What was it? One of the big houses on the avenue? Maybe. Quite right. Not for me to ask. <laughs> yes, we'd be delighted to fence that for you. Obviously, it will take us a little while to do the deal. Probably about an hour or so. <laughs> you might want to take a little stroll or something like that while you're waiting. Unwind a little. You think I'm letting you out of my sight? I ain't going anywhere, mate. I'm staying here with you. And if that money ain't here in an hour, you're dead. Well, yes, please do stay. That's your prerogative. In fact, I'm just about to take the lunchtime service, sir. Have a seat. Enjoy the show. <laughs> well, maybe I will go for a little stroll. I'll be back in an hour. Good. Here you are then, Agnes. Uh, you'll take this down to Big Mitch. You should be in the Spread Eagle about now. That's the spirit. This place is pretty amazing, right? I told you the girls here would blow your mind. I tell you what, I'm thinking I might get a couple of them to come over and join us. Quite a little, little, little Latina. I think I might maybe take her somewhere a little bit more private. How about I go and get us another bottle of Cristal? Good idea. I'll leave the Beamer here, get my secretary to pick it up in the morning. Sorry, can I just check? I'm not a complete wanker, am I? My word! What is this? Michael Faraday. Well, yes, but what an earthly phenomenon! You, you step out of very ether, sir! I come from the future, a time far distant from your own. For what purpose? I've been sent to tell you about scientific discoveries yet to come. Our planet is dying. We thought if we might advance the development of science, we might have a better chance of saving it. My dear Lord, this is the stuff of my most fantastic dreams. They sent you to meet me. Well, no, they, they chose another bloke first, but uh, turned out he was too fat to fit in the pod, so... Uh... <laughs> Some of your infant education would dwarf my entire life's work. Please, tell me everything you know. <clears throat> so, we have these things, they're called cars. They're like... Horseless carriages. You get in them, stick a key in them, and phew, they go. And how are they powered, sir? They've got an engine. And uh, by what process does this engine turn? You put petrol in it, and it goes. It's uh, <laughs> it's like a miracle, really. Right. Um, oh, I've got one. Oh, we, we fly through the air in aeroplanes. They're like they're like giant metal birds. And how do they work? Obviously, some sort of wings. But I mean, yeah. Wings. Yeah, that was what I was going to say. It's kind of what I had on that one. Um, oh, I know. You'll like this. You'll like this. Only the most important discovery in the whole of physics, the one that ties everything together, is Einstein's theory of relativity. And what does that mean? Well, it means E equals MC squared. I mean, it, it is what it is, really. Well, what does E stand for? E, um, it's just E, isn't it? What's the E? E equals MC squared. I don't think it stands for anything. Egg? Egg? 
Okay, we can come back to science. Um, what about something from history? Um, you could have you could either the, the Boer War. Ah, oh, yes, uh, a war with the Boers. Well, when does that begin? Who wins? <laughs> they do. We do. How's it look at the moment? How does it start? Zulus. Something to do with Zulus. You're only supposed to blow the bloody door. If I told you about hot air balloons. We already have hot air balloons. <laughs> For pity's sake, sir. Divine providence has sent you to me from the future. Imagine the suffering that could be ceased, the, the immense progress for mankind for which you could lay the seed. Is there nothing you can tell me of any real advantage about the technology of your times? No. Ooh. <laughs> and if you click here, you get to the site for Nuts magazine. Is that, uh, our 100 sexist bikini babes. The future looks wonderful indeed. Where is this place, Hollyoaks? <laughs> Times are hard. Of course they are. I'm not going to pretend they aren't. There are choppy waters ahead. But I want to reassure each and every one of you that your job is safe. No one on my staff is going to fall behind with their mortgage payments or be unable to put a child through school. You showed me unswerving loyalty during the good times. I'm going to show you the same during the bad. All right? I hope that reassures you. Now, come on, we've got a lot of work to get on with. Come on. Anyone wants to talk to me, my door's always open. Okay? Thank you. Well done. Well done, guys. Kill them. <laughs> you join us 60 feet below the streets of London in a somewhat dusty tunnel. The great city's history literally layered above us like a shelly trifle. The custard of Victorian England, the jelly of the Georgians, the rich fruit of the Elizabethans. And here we are in the golden sponge of the metropolis's fundament to view a truly extraordinary discovery. This, a perfectly preserved Roman frieze. The pigments are so delicate and so frangible that we can only photograph them by candlelight. And if we come just a little closer, we can make out the gentle curves of these equine figures. The quite remarkable detail of the soldiers' tunics and musculature. As an extant record of the Caesarean occupation, this item's value, and indeed its price, is quite simply beyond measure. worn by both women and men. <laughs> Excellent. Now, tell me more about Lily Allen. 